Welcome back, everyone, live here at Citizens Bank Park. And talk about a Phillies fan who's certainly been living on a prayer this entire playoff run. And this is the ultimate Phillies fan, and her faith in the Phillies unquestionable. Yes. You could say that again, right? So joining us now, we're so excited to have her sister, Linda DeCero. She is a sister of St. Francis of Philadelphia and lives in the ministry house on the campus of Newman University. Sister Linda, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to see Thank you. you for getting me. Thank you for getting me up this early. I have a longer day to pray now for the secret alpha. <laughs> we like the way you think, Sister Linda. So when we first heard about you, we're like, we have to get her on the show because you're the ultimate Phillies fan. You even have an altar near your TV set up when the Phillies are playing. An altar, a shrine, whatever you call it here. I have memorabilia that's been passed down to me from my parents and some that I've gathered also along the years. There's a very young Tug McGraw, a very young Larry Boa, Mike Schmidt. I have uh, my relics of uh, St. Francis, Padre Pio, uh, baseball, rosary beads here. So I get on my knees here and I, I say my prayers quietly, say my Hail Marys, get me through the games. It's a little tense at times. <laughs> this is good. We're, we're, we're living on a prayer if we're living in Philadelphia. Absolutely. This is good, Sister Linda. Now, I understand you live with another sister, Sister Marguerite, in the ministry house. And we hear that, you know, she's not exactly, or at least initially, she wasn't on board with all this uh, baseball stuff. No. She's, she's been a, a high school principal in Trenton, New Jersey, and she's been at, on set on many bleachers and supported a lot of sports, but not knowing really what sports is. So she's been, as I say, she's been converted. To it, especially Philadelphia sports, <laughs> and she does love it, and she knows the players. And the both of us did have the pleasure of meeting in person Tug McGraw. Now, I'll tell you, initially, she didn't even know who he was. Tug apparently called the, the, the university looking for a babysitter, a student, on a Valentine's Day. And Sister Marguerite oh. came to me and finally said, Well, I said, Well, who is the person? She said, It's Tug McGraw, but I don't know who that is. I said, Don't ever tell anyone. You don't know who Tug McGraw is in Philadelphia. <laughs> so we did go. We did babysit for Tug's children, and we got to be great friends. Went back to his house a number of times. I have my, I had to pull out my Tug McGraw uh, jersey here because I think we need a higher power. And, um, yeah, and, and Tug, I'm a great country music fan, and he took us to some of the concerts with Faith and Tim, and uh, he's wow. just gone to school. So I know we have an extra well, person up there. Well, we appreciate it. I mean, this yeah. is good stuff. And the Phillies appreciate your prayers, so keep saying those Hail Marys because they're going to need them these next three games. No, being the St. Jude got me through chemistry, so a few I, prayers I can help medal, the Phillies. I have a medal of St. Jude right here. And also, this our, is sister, good. our sisters here, our sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, all the sisters are retired sisters in the Sissy House, and our sisters in our mother house are all praying. We're all decked out. So let's go, Phillies. We can do this. The fans tonight Thank are going you, to push Sister it Linda. right through it. Absolutely. Appreciate it so much. The Phillies, they are covered in prayers from above and here on earth as well as they head Thank to this you. Game 3 Take 2 tonight. Thanks, Sister Thank Linda. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. See you.